right there guys so one of the questions that i get a lot about is in reference to how do i go about optimizing my ads and things like that so i mentioned on last week's video that um, i was going to do a video that talked to that or that talked about that and um, i've decided that what i'm going to do is i'm going to break this up into two parts because um, the optimization, um, you know, the, the ways that I go about optimization kind of depends on the type of ad that I'm running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into a series on um, or tips for optimizing your ads when you're running automatic ads versus the manual ads. So the first video, we're going to talk about automatic ads and some of the things that I do to optimize them. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. Okay, so before we get into this video, I'd love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. Um, also, if you're looking for some ways to bring in some extra cash and looking for a list of passive income products that you can create and sell online, I have a free swipe file that I'm going to put a link to in the description of this video. You can click on that to head over to download that free swipe file. Okay, but let's dive in. So first things first. Before I even get into the optimization tips and things that I use for my ads, I have to make sure that I point out some key points, okay? And just some things that you guys wanna remember. Okay, so coming in at number one is going to be that ads are not going to help poorly designed books. I mean, I, I've mentioned this, I know you guys have heard other YouTubers mention this and other people that are doing KDP, any kind of book for that matter. If your cover design is, is falling flat or it's not well designed, then running ads to a book that is not well designed is not going to help you get any sales okay number two is ads with bad titles subtitles and keywords are not gonna perform as well so again if you have you know um, if you have keywords that are of uh, your titles are overstuffed with keywords and you have titles that really aren't reflecting of the or that really don't capture the type of book that you are creating or that you've created ads are not going to help that book as well. Another thing that you want to remember, and this is something that I'm, I'm still learning things about, is that if you are getting a lot of impressions to your ads, but you're not getting any clicks, then that means that something is off with your cover design. So if you're getting a lot of impressions, no clicks, you need to go and revamp your covers. Something about maybe the design or maybe the fonts that you're using, um, you know, all of that needs to be rechecked. And you probably wanna go back and test and upload a different cover design to see if it converts better. Okay, so last things last is that if you're getting a lot of clicks, but you're not getting any sales to your book, then that means that there's something on your book's listing that is not connecting with the people that are coming there. So it could be your product description. A lot of people overlook this. They just kind of throw things together haphazardly, but you really want to write a product description that gets your uh, visitors excited about your product. So one of the tools that I highly recommend checking out that I've been testing and that I've been using, but I do heavily tweak it is ChatGPT. I know you guys have heard a lot of people using ChatGPT. Well, ChatGPT is a phenomenal resource that you can use as inspiration or getting some inspiration on writing a more effective product description if you're not sure how to write one. So that's something you definitely need to check. And then also, if you do not have A plus content added to your books, into your listings, I definitely recommend adding A plus content to your listings as well. So now we're gonna get into the fun part, I guess, <laughs> with how I go about optimizing the ads that I run. So let's do it. Okay, so we are in the back end of my ad, um, of my ad dashboard in Amazon. Now I can't, you know, reveal some of the stuff because, you know, I'm sorry, I, I would love to, but I just can't because I know that some people will copy. But um, what I'm going to do is just kind of show you guys what I kind of do when it comes to um, optimizing things for auto campaigns. So I'm going to use my lottery campaign as an example. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click on my lottery campaign and we're going to take a look at this. So right now you can see that my uh, lotto campaign, I've spent 33 bucks. I've made $119. Dollars. My A cost is a little bit higher than what I'm used to, so I know I'm going to have to do some optimization. So this is the perfect timing for this. Now, one of the things that I definitely am going to look at in here is going to be the targeting. But in order to get to that, 
what I'll have to do guys is to get to that and see your actual targeting you're gonna have to go down into the ad campaign and click on the title of your ad campaign again okay to see that so now you can see when we click into this it's gonna take us over here and you're gonna see some different options you're gonna see targeting you're gonna see negative targeting search terms ad group settings and your history so let's go to targeting first this is one of the things that you definitely want to look at okay so when you're going into your auto campaign there's several different type of targets that you can run or that are ran automatically with this this type of ad campaign so i'm going to stress this out so we can take a look so you can see there's four you have substitutes you have a close match you have a loose match and you have compliments now as you guys can see i have paused the compliments and i've also paused the loose match because i noticed that when i went into optimizing this campaign that i wasn't really making any sales on these different targeting options okay now the two options that i am making the most sales on and you can kind of see here is going to be substitutes and then it's also going to be close match now here is where the fun comes in so say for example for say for example you jump into your uh your targeting options and you see like for example with mine i have spent 25 dollars for um, my ad spend but i've only gotten five orders and then i made 50 dollars, but my a cost over here is really really high well what you can do is you can actually go in guys and you can adjust each one of these bids so i see right now that this is costing me too much so what i can do is instead of doing or running this ad for 10 cents i'm gonna drop this down to seven cents okay because i know that right now i'm spending too much per click for this specific ad because my ACOS is really, really high. I wanna keep my ACOS at least below 20 something percent, okay? So that's one thing that I can do. Now, I'm not gonna turn this off. I'm gonna keep this running because I am converting sales with my close, close match targeting. Now, I am making really good sales with an ACOS of 10% with my substitutes. So I'm gonna kinda leave that here, but what I could do if I really wanted to get aggressive with this is that I could increase the bid here a little more I could probably take it to nine cents if I really was feeling myself I could go up to as much as 15 or whatever but I'm going to just kind of go up and bump it up to two cents that's usually what I try to do is do increments of twos okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do not 90 but zero nine and so that's nine cents and so I'm gonna click save okay so that's the one thing or the first one of the first things that you can do to optimize your automatic campaign now we're gonna go over to search terms, all right? Now, this is where you're gonna get a lot of data and you really want to be looking at this data and figuring out, okay, um, which, which kind of, what kind of products am I getting or what kind of keywords am I coming up for that are getting a lot of clicks but that are not generating a lot of sales for me? And here is how you can tell that. So with an automatic campaign and i forgot to mention this you have to understand that amazon is going to be putting your books in front of people in two ways so you're going to get put in front of people depending on the keywords that they type in to find your books or to find a specific type of book and then they're also going to be getting to you from the product or the related product section that is listed up uh, listed on a popular listings page okay so your books are going to be getting shown basically twice right so what you want to do is and what i typically do to optimize this campaign even further is i will come over to where it says i'm getting a lot of clicks okay and then i will click again here and what i like to look for is anything any keywords or any products that i have spent a lot of money on but that has not brought me in any sales I am going to add those keywords or that specific product to the negative targeting section so here's what I mean so if you have let's just say um, some kind of keyword that comes up as coloring book for seniors maybe that keyword is not converting for you very well so what you can do is you can come over into this section and you can right click and copy that specific keyword that you found that has not brought in any orders for you but that you've spent a lot on and i will say the spending if you spent like ten dollars or something like that and you haven't gotten any sales and i would definitely 
remove that keyword and take it out of the hunt. OK, so what you do is you'll copy that keyword that you found that's not bringing you any sales, but that's getting a lot of clicks. You'll come over to the negative targeting section. And then what you'll do is you'll see that there's two options. You have the negative keyword section over here to the left. This is for specific keywords. I got tongue tied here. And then you have the negative products. So negative keywords is just what it is. So we're going to click on add negative keywords. And from here, you can paste, you know, uh, uh, coloring books or whatever that keyword is for seniors or something like that. If that is a keyword that is not performing well for you, you can definitely add it to the negative keyword section. So what you'll do is you'll put that in here and then you'll click to add that keyword. See what I did there? And that's what you'll do, okay? So I'm gonna take that out. And then you'll do the same thing for negative products. If you have a product, you have to have the ASIN number to add that negative product to this negative product section. So it's gonna be basically the same thing. So I'm gonna go back here and then we're gonna do the products as well. And you're gonna see the list of products. And so what you'll do is once you find a product that is getting a lot of clicks but no sales, and you spent at least what, $10 or something like that, I would definitely put that into the negative product uh, targeting section. And so what you'll do is you will highlight the ASIN, which is gonna be the number that's listed below the product. And then what you'll do is you will come back over to negative targeting. You'll click on negative products. You'll click add negative product targets. And then what you'll do is you'll say enter list. You'll click on where it says enter list. And then you will paste that ASIN into your negative product section. You just hit exclude and it's gonna exclude it for you, okay? So that's something else that I definitely like to do, all right? Now, another thing is that and this is probably the last thing that I like to do to optimize my automatic ad campaigns is I'm gonna go back here because we want to go to the ad group settings. So I'm gonna click on here. As you can see here right now, I only have my ad group settings set for just $6. Right? I'm sorry, not $6, but my default bid is set for six cents. So what you can do is if, for example, you were bidding let's just say 30 cents or 20 cents or something like that, which I think is too high for a lottery campaign. What you can do is come in here to reduce your bid, okay? To reduce your bid. So in here, instead of running at six cents, if I wanted to, I can just drop all the way down to like four because we're going in increments of two. So you could do four cents, you can reduce it to six. If you're doing 20 cents, I will go two. I would just keep decreasing by two and then going back to check the data to see if my A cost is dropping. And then you'll keep dropping until you get to a sweet spot and you're seeing that, okay, I've dropped my bid enough. I've dropped my um, my default bid enough and it looks like my A cost is doing okay. I'm good, so I'm gonna let this roll. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase this a little bit and get a little bit more aggressive. I should have went to 10 cent or something like that, but I'm gonna leave it at seven cents for now. But that is another thing that I do like to do, guys, to optimize my automatic ad campaigns. Now, the last thing that I will leave you guys with, because these are just some short, short tips that I do and little things that I do, is you're going to have to be patient. One of the things that I see a lot in the groups is that, hey, I just started running an ad campaign and it's been two days. Why am I not getting any impressions? When am I going to start getting impressions? When is this? When is that? Guys, it takes time for your ads to start picking up data. So you have to give it time. I would say, you know, give it at least a good week to let everything run. Once it runs, then you can kind of start going back and looking at your data and just kind of following along with some of the information that I mentioned in here, making a little bit of a mini checklist, if you will, and checking off some of those things. Again, cover design, your keywords, making sure your back keyword, back end keywords are on point, um, making sure your product description is well written all that kinds of stuff, and then just going in and doing the little tweaks that I've showed you in here. But this is pretty it, guys. I'm not a whiz. I'm not a pro. Please, I know that there are some of you who are, are you're way more skilled in running ads than I am. These are just a couple of things that I do for my automatic ad campaigns to tweak them and to do optimizations. So if you enjoyed this video, if you know anyone who would benefit from it, I'd love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, comment all of that good stuff. If there's any questions that you have for me, I highly recommend just dropping them below and I'll try to answer them as, as quickly as I can. But I do hope this has at least been helpful in getting you started into the world of optimization. Okay. Take care. Thanks so much for watching and y'all be safe out there. Bye.